Hey guys, what's up? I'm Tyrant Mogul. Welcome to the Norwood Suite. Norwood Suite. Yeah. Alright, let's see some directions. Alright, look around. Got it. Oh, it's pretty. Um, forward, left. Wait, yeah. Alright, standard. Hey! And so we arrive at our destination. Always click to advance. Dialogue spoken at you. The Hotel Norwood. Oh, she's got chocolate. Give me the chocolate. <laughs> I'm like that, 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 uh, I was going to say that squid, that fish from Spongebob. Let's see. I left the hotel voucher for you in the cave up the hill. What? Present it at the front desk. It'll get you a free room. Trust me, you'll fit right in. The payment won't be wired to you until tomorrow. Tomorrow? What? One thing to know about the Hotel Norwood, everyone's looking for something here. So in a sense, it's not just me you're working for. Good luck, we believe in you. Wait, huh? Peter Norwood, notable pianist, was the original owner of this estate. Pianist or pianist? I, I'm pretty sure it's pianist. I don't know, I'll have to Google it. <laughs> After his disappearance in 1983, this place got turned into the hotel in his name. Into the hotel, huh? All sorts of characters stayed here. Some even lived here for years. A few of those folks might still be lingering. That voucher will take you further than many who have come before you. Ha. Oh. Is that it? That's all you gotta say? I too stayed here a while back. Even before it became a hotel. Memories of long nights in the old, damp rooms. That doesn't sound comfy. The music was great. Sure, world class. Well, but my history with the place is better, left in rear view. Ellipses. Okay, yeah, that's all you gotta say. Give me the chocolate, all right. Oh, what you got, you got a boat? Oh, well. Damn, all right. Leave me stranded here. Oh, it's music. Yeah. You can observe certain items by clicking on them. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. So you move around with the mouse. Uh, see, so DJ Bogart. Chad Blueprint, Gemini G, Rumpled Sweater at the Hotel Norse's Basement. I drink with every meal, every single one. DJ Bogart. Blue Moose, all natural energy beverage. Nice. Wait, so can I interact with it? Oh no, it needs an eye. Okay, I see. Oh. Oh! Cosmo D presents the Norwood Suite. Oh, it's, I like how it moves with you. What do you think? No. Kinda wish I could run, but what the hell is this? Take? Yeah, you got a cyclist helmet. Press tab to open your backpack and select a helmet. I, wait, oh, okay, wait. What kind of, oh, what kind of backpack is this? I thought I could wear it. You can eavesdrop on conversations or interrupt them. Look, look where, Quit talking so fast! I'm gonna interrupt you guys. Hey there. You see me from somewhere. God, I hope not. You gonna. Yeah, you look sort of familiar. Who are you? Puzzling. Actually, have you seen my helmet? I must have dropped it on the way up here. You need to actually start wearing your helmet, Hans, Hans, whatever. Here's your helmet. I found it. Nice, you got my helmet. Yeah, you gave Cyclist helmet. Thanks, I'll take that off your hands. Are you gonna actually wear it now? This is, oh God, ta-da! <laughs> that looks, uh, hmm. This is, thanks again for finding my helmet. Yeah, I'd rather not buy you another one. This, yeah, okay, I'm done with you guys. Buttons can be pushed. Ooh. Is that all you do? 
crush it. Click on the lever and hold. That's pretty cool. Could I not just to push the button? Ooh, that's a big turtle! Ooh! What is this? Some... Oh. I see. Oh, there's a key. Wait, what am I get? What is this gonna do? <laughs> okay, control battery. And a voucher. Oh, okay. I, for some reason, I thought this was gonna like open up the aquarium. I was like, I'm about to kill turtle. All right. Let's see. This game runs really like, like it's, it's a nice. A nice, uh, I don't even know how to call it. It just seems fun. I've never actually, ooh, I've never played a game like this. What is that? Give me the egg. I can't reach it. Oh, it's not an egg. I'm stupid. <laughs> What's that? Oh, uh, save logo. I don't actually know anything about this game. I was just browsing the Steam page. Ooh. Greetings, stranger. I see you picked up that voucher there. Yeah, we're gonna give him a cowboy hat because he's wearing a cowboy hat. To me, he's wearing a cowboy hat. I don't know. Good. You'll need it. You'll need it to get a room at the hotel. <laughs> he has a creepy smile. <laughs> Dottie and Sandro at the front desk. They'll help you check in. Well, they'll try anyway. And my brother Dustin, he runs the concierge. Concierge. I can't speak. He'll help you with everything else. Just a warning, though. People might mistake you for one of the staff. Why? What am I wearing? Don't take it personally. You just have the look. You might want to even consider lend lending a helping hand. You lazy ass. We could use it. Dustin at the concierge will guide you there. Real professional operation here at the Hotel Norwood. Ha! He has such a look. Just don't tell Nadia I said that. Ellipses. Alright, click on the drawer and... Oh. What is this? What is this? Just, is this a map? Alright. Dang, $550 a day? Picked an active night to drop in on the hotel, stranger. This party tonight, downstairs in the hotel basement. DJ Bogart is about to play his 300th consecutive weekend gig. Think about it, a show every weekend? The guy's a machine, all right. Oh God, ew, his neck. Like right there, it looks natural and then right here it's just, I'm watching you, partner. You son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, I thought I could click that. Right. Jesus, this hotel is this $550 a night without a voucher? Jesus. Better be some hotel. Ah, hey there! <laughs> what are you doing? Ew, what's wrong with you? Oh, you're just slouched. Ah, service at last! The Hotel Norwood served their guests anyway on the grounds, Lucy. Are you sure this person is even affiliated with the Hotel Courtney? Absolutely. In fact, could you bring us a six pack of blue moose? I'm parched. You know, you could get us in ch- I ain't getting you shit. How about that? <laughs> what is this? Is this Bogarts? No, it's party bus. Oh, wait. Wait, what? Oh, I can open up. Oh, yeah. What the hell? Why do you have this in your trunk? Can I close it? No, oh, whatever. What? What kind of... Oh, hey, kitty. All right. Hey. This must be... I don't know what that is. Oh, it's locked. Damn. Is this the back of the bus? 
Yeah, it is, but I can't open it. I kind of guess we're staying at this hotel. That's semi-normal. Like, well, no. I don't know who carries a big... I don't know. What? Wait, can I open it? No, I can't open the door. What? Hey! Got some pizza and whipped cream? Alright. Looks like we do got some pretty... Push it. Push it. Oh. Okay. Was... Yeah, I'm not getting you anything. Alright. Got some strange guests staying at this hotel with us. I don't even remember his name. What is this? Got the piano. Oh, uh, that looks like a, a bell, so check-in should be over here. Yeah, yeah, that's the basement, so that's DJ Bogart over there. Alright. Oh, that's cool. It looks... That doesn't... That's, that's scraping the ground. That's tile. Alright, what's this? Can I interact with this? Turn on off. Nice. Nice. Wait, so did I turn it off originally? No, it just doesn't. Why would that be making a sound then? Wait, um... No Wi-Fi! Okay! Did I fix it? Nope, I broke it. Well, damn. Can I sit down? Nope. Let's, see, let's explore. All right, so that's gonna go over towards the party. Swimming, I guess? The kitchen. Yeah. All right. Let's go, let's go check in with the concierge. Concierge, I don't, I cannot pronounce that word. Take. Bathing suit, yes. That's all, that's all that's here. Bathing suit. Do I talk to you guys? Hey, Dottie, looks like we have a late night arrival. <laughs> I'm not keeping that voice up. Dottie! <laughs> Sandro, you don't have to shout at me. <laughs> Your hearing aids aren't in. All right, I'm giving them all like a southern, or whatever accent, I don't know. Yeah, so you're looking to book a room, eh? From the looks of you, it's probably out of your price range. Uh, I have a voucher. Unless you feel like putting the stranger up in the Norwood Suite, eh, Daddy? Oh, again with the Norwood Suite, Sandro. You know the suite is off limits. I'm just saying. Wait, I have a voucher. And I'm just saying, our rooms aren't for the likes of you. How do I look? God damn, everybody's just judgmental. Perhaps a stranger can give us something in exchange for a room. Oh, ha, ah, I'm stupid. Well, it looks like our late night arrival has a hotel voucher. Damn right I do, Sandro. A voucher, eh? Let's take a look at that. We need to have a room ready pronto. So you're due for a night's stay, eh? That's what I said, Dottie. You need to remember to wear those hearing aids. Now with that racket coming from out of the basement. Damn, my words. Uh, that voucher needs to be redeemed online. We'll, we'll hold on to it for you while you redeem it. There's a computer behind you. Uh, weekend, this weekend is particularly strict in protocol. What with the impending board meeting. No need to remind me. Okay, this is just your guys' talk. Do I still have the... No, okay. Alright, so I need to get this thing uh, popping. That should do it. Nope, no Wi-Fi. That's right. Uh, uh, how do I...
Oh. Okay. I don't know why that's there. Wait, where's the where's the router? What the hell? I see. Okay. It's a lynx. A, a lynxus. Excuse me. Um. Yeah, I require further assistance because damn Wi-Fi is not working. Who do I talk to? Yeah, hey, your computer is not working. Yeah, it's broken. A router is a little finicky. You have to reset it. The router's in the library. Up the stairs and take a left. All right. Okay. So it's in the library. Wait. Okay. Oh, over there. Yeah. This is a weird hotel. I've never stayed in any hotel like this. Right. Where's your router? I need to find it. Is this a map? No. Radio. Why would it be in here? Oh, there's it. There it is. There's it. Perfect English. All right, let's see. I don't think, oh. Oh, well, my router doesn't do that. Or that. Oh, it's that Nadia. All right, well, let's go check in properly. Don't wanna don't want to let this video run on too long. If anything, I think I may just cut this into two parts. I don't know. We'll see. If we finish it, then you're okay. Oh, it's like, why is that person so stationed? It's a mannequin. All right, we got it working now. Voucher status redeemed. That's that's how I how I do anything online. I just smack my hands against the screen. Is that it? All right, let's go talk to them again. Concierge. All right, I'm checked in. Ah, uh, yes, I see that voucher's been redeemed. I have your room assignment and uh, um, what's wrong now? Another double booking? Well, 201 is Clem's room. Hasn't Clem been there for what, 15 years? She's practically a tenant. She always overpays. Damn. Her room is definitely not available. Not available, sorry. All of, uh, all of our other rooms seem to be full due to the board meeting tomorrow. It's a busy weekend, but what about 316? 316, the Norwood Suite. You're kidding, right? At least it's vacant. What's wrong with the Norwood Suite? Of course it's vacant. It's the Norwood Suite. No one is permitted to stay there. Why? Tell me, says Nadia. Last I heard, Nadia still cuts our checks. She's three weeks late again. Damn. She'll pull another 90-day turnaround if we open up the Norwood Suite. The Norwood Suite is off limits. No exception. Sorry. Damn it, that 90-day turnaround. Really, I'm sorry, but there is very little I can... I had a voucher. I redeemed it. What the hell? Can I get a refund for a voucher? I don't even know. What's this? All right. Uh, it's just you know that you're putting a little surveying. I'm concerned that this is a little different tonight. I'm seeing a no-show in room 204, so. Oh, okay. 204. Thank you. Uh All right, let's let's go. Let's go to our room. Let's usually I'm just going to do this how I do it IRL. Time I go to a hotel, I just uh, well got to find my room first, 209, 208, 207. Boy. Just like in real life. 205. Uh, is this your room? Uh, 
uh, yeah, I'll talk to you after. Nobody else is in here. Can I can I close the door for some privacy? I guess not. Pretty basic room. Whoa. I stand corrected. Well, I've never been in a hotel room that... Oh, God. Uh... Uh, uh, I don't, uh, I don't think that was supposed to happen. Uh, okay, everything's fine. <laughs> uh, let's, let's cut back to the, the room really quick. Right, great, I gotta find my way back, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, here we go. Oh, I was like, what the hell? Alright, we're back in the room. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I don't want to find out. Can I close it? How, do, how did I open it in the first place? I don't know. Oh, there's like security cameras? Alright. What is this? A piano key for note D. If you're reading this, then you have successfully checked in your room. At the concierge desk, a gentleman will give you a compact disc. You must take it, without hesitation. It is for DJ Bogart, who is currently spinning records at his, at his dance party in the hotel basement. How you get into the basement, I leave that for you to sort out. This piano key and these computer mo monitors should offer guidance on this front. Once we have confirmation that DJ Bogart has received your CD, the payment will be wired to you by the morning. We believe in you. And some mumbo jumbo stuff. Alright. Uh, well, I I guess that's how I get into the basement. Just by going. I don't want to go over there again. That was scary. What is this? Oh. Um. Yeah. We're, we're just going to close that. Uh. Alright. Well. I think I'm gonna yeah this video is already running a little long uh, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this uh, so I will yeah I'll do a part two of this because this is a pretty interesting game uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this and I will see you in part two later